Hi there, my name is Kendrick, and today I get to have Gabriel to interview about his type. So welcome, Gabriel. Hello, everyone. Hello, Kendrick. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, for sure. You're most welcome. So can you please tell us your full type? All right. My full type seems to be INFJ, Jumper, NITI, and Sleep, Blast, Play, and Consume. All right. And what about your sexual modalities? Uh, sexual modalities are audio. So masculine DI and the feminine, uh, sorry, masculine sensory and feminine DE. Gotcha. And did you get your social type as well? Yeah, the, the guest seems to be four, but uh, yeah, I'm here to discuss with you about uh, the type and uh, the social type. So let's get right into it. Yeah, let's do it. So um, the first obvious thing about you is you're definitely an observer because like right when we started the interview, before we even started recording, you already had observer problems with your 54 tabs <laughs> open in your windows. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can you share a little bit about some of the common observer problems that you get in your day-to-day -day life, you know, like besides the, the tab and, you know, usually it's chaos from the sensory, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's like, um, let's say that um, usually I... The most problems is like uh, I usually have people that are dragging me down. Oh no, the it's camera's so freezing like, again. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. um, mm. back. okay. I try one one thing. I try to deactivate it and uh, reactivate it. Like I don't think it changes much, but yeah, let, let's see if, if that's all right. Hope if, if we like. The connection is even good, actually. I just maybe I should bring the do you have a VPN? Because sometimes VPN messes up Zoom connections. Like uh, Let's see, it's like people also. Wait, wait, you, you actually have a point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I deactivate the VPN right now <laughs> and see if it gets better. All right. And maybe I close WhatsApp and Android Studio and. Uh, oh my all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gabriel looks like he froze again. <laughs> All right, now I think. Oh no, I tried to. Okay, I tried okay. to do something really dangerous. Let's see. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, it worked. All right. All okay, right. okay. Let's let's go with there. So yeah, as you can see, uh, you have a lot of chaos from the sensory that is happening to you all the time. <laughs> um, it happened in real time too. So, you know, um. Oh, I think he froze again. Um, yeah, I think I, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I, I have an idea. I'll try to go with the phone because maybe oh. that's... Oh, that's, I, think, that's... I think it's okay right now, actually. Let, let's just stick with it. And then if something changes, we can try the phone later, okay? Uh, All right. All right. All right. Yeah, but it's kind of good because the people watching can like later on when I upload, it can see like, oh, okay, yeah, these guys are observers. They have observer problems, you know. The magic of editing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So, anyways, um, can you share a little bit about what you felt and what you thought after you got your typing results back? Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, I am. I'm trying to still processing it. Like, uh, I. I don't know if it's actually it fits or not. So I'm still in that, uh, um, you know, I don't know if that happened to you too. Like uh, when you see your first type, like uh, did you say, all right, 100%, I, I'm I'm that, or did you actually have some doubts about uh, about your type in the beginning? Um, I got typed twice. So the first time I got typed was over the phone with Dave. It was like a long time ago, back in 2018. And... Uh, he said I was a jumper ENFP and I thought I was like a standard ENFP. So I didn't uh, believe his typing at first, only because I, when I, when I spoke to Dave on the phone the first time, it wasn't a typing call. I, we just, we just had a chat. It was like a coaching call. Right. 
So I'm like, oh, why, why is he giving me my type or whatever? But anyways, later on, I did submit my videos to Dave and Shan. And I also met them in person. And they typed me as a jumper ENFP again. But this time, instead of my original typing was play, consume, blast sleep, masculine, feminine. And then later on, they switched the middle because the middle is always switch, right? So it became play, blast, consume, sleep, uh, masculine, feminine. So Oh, okay. Even that, I didn't believe it. I, I didn't believe. The, so I accepted the jumper, but like I didn't uh, um, accept the middle ones because I thought I had high consume. But then I gave myself one year to process it before I made a final decision whether it was I felt like it was correct typing or not. And I was very impressed how correct the typing was. I was like, oh, my God, I am doing blast before consume. Um, the only reason why I consume a lot is because I'm info dominant. But, you know, um, but ultimately I was consuming a lot because of that but i i can't i couldn't consume information if i didn't blast first that's what i noticed oh, so you, you like you have to like have someone for example where you talk and then look talk and then look something like that it's not just talking it's like if i'm doing something it could be because because blast is doing right executing so i have to execute mm -hmm. something first and the moment i hit a wall and i can't progress further that's when i that's when i go consume and i can consume oh. really deep after i hit the wall but if I don't hit the wall first, I cannot consume anything. I'm reading something. I'm like, nothing's coming in. So. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. right. It's like you're learning by doing some, if that, if that makes sense. It's like it's learning by doing. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So it's the same as you. Cause you're also, you know, blast above consume. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like uh, I, I actually um, thought I was this type in the beginning and, uh, but you know, I had uh, some, you know, life goes on and uh, I saw that, you know, I I think it, it still needs to have some, you know, I, there's still, I think there's, I don't know, it's like, uh, if I had to consider what happened with my life, what other people told me, uh, is tell, uh, are, you know, saying to me, hmm, maybe that's, hmm, that's not actually uh, the, because, um, in the beginning, they actually gave me another type, but they changes later on. Like, uh, um, like uh, one day before, gave um, they gave me the the type, the the, the official type. Oh, um, what was yeah. the what yeah, was yeah. the original one that they sent you? Uh, it was uh, an ETI. Uh, oh, looks like you froze again. Uh, work okay we're back so um right. neti and then sorry keep going and uh, consume play blast and uh, sleep last uh, uh so um in the beginning it was like i'm not i need to be like what the hell but then uh, you know, after I saw that all my friends were like trying to push me to be more routinary and say you have to build a direction in your life because otherwise you will just be doing casual things. Uh, I said, mm, mm, okay. Uh, but then came the, uh, another type came, um, came out and I said, mm, okay, okay. Uh, I, I, I see, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> And then, and then how did it become INFJ and ITI after? Because that's crazy how those are opposite types, right? I have no idea. I asked, but uh, they never applied me. I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I think I know what happened. Because you're, you have a, you have a very uh, interesting type. So your sleep, blast, play, consume, but you're, you're savior friends. So you love people. You absolutely love people. That's why it 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 throws off the the thing, because I'm. That's something. Person. Yeah, that's something that uh, Habib said to me too. Like uh, I hear from him too. I said uh, that probably is the answer. Even if uh, you know, al although they theorized, if I, did they theorize the social types like uh, way before they came out, or I'm getting. No, oh, so I mean, they they had it in their back of their mind long time ago. Even the early. Yeah the early days of OPS, but um, it wasn't part of the system yet. It was just kind of like birth order. That's how they approached it. But um, it seems like um, it was just too obvious because they said that 
there's two people that are type twins, but they're so different. Like one is like, say like you have a sleep consumed play blast, for example, right? Like my girlfriend is a sleep consumed play blast. I am, I am TJ, right? And then um, like, why is my girlfriend so extroverted compared to like the other sleep consumed play blast INTJ? And the difference was the social type because um, my girlfriend is a number four. So she loves people. She loves friends. So because there's like that part of you that wants to interact with a tribe, then you become more extroverted because of, of how you want to interact. Well, if you're a specialist or something, then mm-hmm. like, no, go away tribe. I want to do my own thing on my own corner by myself, you know? So it's like, it's, it's, it's interesting how you can be an introvert and love people and you can be an extrovert. And if you're a specialist, then you don't want to interact with people. So it's also, you know, have that like yeah. preference. So, yeah. So I think for you, like you're super friendly, right? So <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it still needs more attention, but uh, yeah, of course, 100%. No, let, let, we're here to discuss it. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's discuss it. Um, so the first animal is sleep. So your NT. Uh, the good thing about your original typing and your current typing is you're still NT. That that part has not changed. You're still yeah. the NT. That means you like to figure things out. Um, the 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 difference though with your original typing is it was NT consume. So you got the solution from consuming new information, new random information. While now it's processed information that's already inside your head. Okay. So how do you see your NT personally? knowing these two parts that you got typed as, you know, do you process information that's already inside and you kind of like rearrange it and find a solution or like, how are you using your NT? All right. So I have to ask you something like, uh, how is it to have uh, inside information that you already know is your solution? Well, I don't have NT sleep, so it's, I can only use theory to explain it. I, I have SF sleep right so if i have to use sf sleep to kind of translate it in your terms um for me i'm solving my emotion i'm trying to figure out because because mine's s-i-f-i right so the s-i is like what's the exact word for the f-i for the emotion that i'm experiencing that i'm having problems with right Hmm. so in that case once i have a list because s-i is a list right so once i have a list of emotions emotions that i can figure out um okay you know, emotion one, let's say uh, is frustration, right? So I'm feeling frustration for, let's say five years now. Um, how I solve it is, how is this emotion my fault? How did I cause this emotion to be my recurring problem for the last five years, right? And then the next one is after I determine how it's my fault, then I can go to the next step, which is what can I do about it to solve this problem, right? Um, so I'll use an example from, let's say, a uh, long time ago. So my one of my problem was anger, and it was mm-hmm. uh, anger anger from being controlled by my mom. That was when I was younger, right? So so for me, it's like, okay, how is this my fault? Why am I having anger that I'm being controlled by my mom? Well, I have anger because it's my fault because I'm living in her house. I should move out, you know, like. If I don't like these rules, it's not my mom's fault. It's her house. It's her rules. So I should just move out. So I did. So I move out. Um, and then the problems over the years started getting less. So, um, and then that's that's kind of like how I solved the problem for emotion. This is emotions though, because I have to look at my recurring uh, my my <clears throat> emotion that I have struggled with. So yours is like, what is your recurring? What's what's your recurring truths, right? Like what is true about you, right? Because it's ti, right? And it's ni. So what is what is your self pattern that is true, right? That's N I T I, and then once you know what the pattern is, does that pattern serve you or not, right? And if it doesn't serve you, what can you do about it? So it's kind of similar to, you know, my feelings, but yours is your truths, right? Like what is your recurring pattern that's true about you that is not good? If it's good, then you keep that pattern. You keep that. You keep doing that, right? But if it's not good, then you you change it, right? So that's kind of NITI, like one one version of it, obviously. Hmm. Okay. Well, no, I mean, uh, um, usually I I keep like uh, everything. Like uh, usually is more about uh, you know keeping track of experience more than uh, what is my truth. It's actually more about uh, all right. How is like uh, all right? Like uh, time training, for example. How is my body reacting to it? Like uh, I'm doing calisthenics, I'm seeing my abs that are 
better. My 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 breath is better. I have more control of it, and uh, yeah, I it seems that this is like the right track. Um, but uh, no, truth is it's not about uh, what is my truth. If something is good, bad, uh, okay. If something is not good, then throw throw it out of the window because uh, it depends on the context you are in. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I mean, ultimately, I don't have anti sleep, so you 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 would know it better than me, you know, because you have it. So I only know the theory side of it, and uh, you know, like, like you, when you're mentioning your abs, it's getting better based on your training and stuff. You know, that I mean, th the only thing that can tell me is like your reoccurring pattern for your training seems to be working, so you got to keep doing it. Uh, you know, and if something's not working, then obviously you would change change uh, what you're doing. You know what I mean, or change something. Mm. Okay, but um, and that's that's uh, up to you to figure it out like, at a very deep level because. Uh, you know, it's TI, right? So could, could it be the, like, could the it... problem with you though is you have feminine NI. So you're gonna forget your pattern all the time. <laughs> so it's gonna be really annoying because you have feminine NI. So your pattern okay. is always flying away. So then you have to rely on your masculine extrovert sensing because you'll remember the sensory, but you'll forget your patterns. Uh, you know, kind of like Dave, you know, because you have the same animal stack as Dave. Right, so Dave always forgets his pattern. Except he's like uh, he has an F, like he's a five, right? Yeah, but the Ni is the same. It's your feminine yeah, Ni, and he always forgets his patterns, and it's so annoying. And it feels like every time he learns something, it's like the first time he learned it, you know, because <laughs> it's annoying because it's feminine, right? Yeah. Um, I ask you something. Could it be actually, you know, um, more about uh, um, more about uh, you know, you are sleeping with your sensory more because if you keep your training routine, it's not really found about theory. It's not about, uh, you know, why your RBS are getting better. You know, like, for example, because you are keeping your abdomen engaged and so, uh, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so I ask you if that could actually be more of a sensory case than an uh, intuitive case. Um, I, I'm generally asking because I, I'm trying to, to figure it out. Because, um, you know, I let me see something like, um, maybe I'm getting wrong here, but um, where is it? Like, after we discuss this, I'm going to ask you some questions because I, I I really want to see if you're really an INFJ jumper or if you're an ENTP because uh, I'm I'm kind of curious now that we're talking about this. Yeah, like uh, here, ST sleep uh, here. All right. So uh, I, I'm using. Um, do you know um, Daniel Jennings in the community? Daniel what? Daniel who? The, 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 um, wait, maybe maybe I I spelled his name wrong. Sorry. Um, let me see. Uh, it's like, uh, pa, 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 um, where is it? Uh, of, no, it's not that. It's, I get it. Or, uh, um, all right, the file is called Objective Personality System Notes Version 1. And the Daniel Jennings, Daniel Jennings is called um, with two ends. Like I'm looking at that, uh, that file right now. So if anything, if anything you find wrong about this from this, uh, from this file. Okay. Um, so anyway, as this leap says about uh, logical awareness, uh, yeah, logical awareness and bodily awareness, mind and physical body, um, logically analyzing what is true about past events. So that would make sense with, you know, I'm training and uh, maybe I'm getting better because of past events, more of uh, the concept of the ABS. Con, um, like uh, getting uh, engaged or your lats uh, are uh, engaging so muscles that are connected. I don't know. So, um, I think it's something like that. Uh, hmm. um, did, did you train? Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a personal trainer. So, oh, ah, so, so personality trainer is connected with. Uh... That, that's, <sighs> that's why it's called personality trainer because I'm 
it, I, I work as a personal trainer for many years, so. <laughs> ah, ah, I understand. And that's, what, that's why what? I called it that because that that's my uh that was my career for the last like ten years. So, ah, uh, I thought it, it's it's a catchy name. It's it's actually uh, it's a good name. It's a very it's... catchy name. Yeah, it's super catchy. Um, <laughs> if so... I can ask you, um, which sport are you um, yeah, are you um getting others to to train? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, oh, it's, I it's not sport I just train people to be more fit so if their goal is weight loss I help them with weight loss if their goal is uh for example there was one girl she she had no goal so I made the goal for her um so oh, okay. my goal for her was uh to do a full pull-up you know within a year and she did it in four months which is awesome it's really hard for girls to do a, a full pull yeah absolutely like yeah. four months is is a great time and uh did you um did you you um, use diets or um like, uh, you know, what nutrients that will help you train better and get your results I mean, quickly? I'm not allowed to give people meal plans because that's outside of my scope of practice. So I, I can discuss it, but I can't um, I can't tell them what they should eat, right? So, uh, for example, when I was training this girl to do her pull-up, sometimes she's struggling with her pull-up, right? And I asked her, I'm like, did you eat enough, eat enough protein today or yesterday? And then she's like, oh, my God, no, I didn't, right? Or, um, but um. But the, the, the person I was training was an INFJ jumper also. She was sleep, consume, blast play. She was play last. So because we were both um, double activate NT, it was easy for me to train her because we were both NTing the situation. So I had to oh. use like different angles to um, to to get her to do a pull-up. Like for example, I would get, I use my play also. So I'll get like um, my coworkers who are female to come in and show her what a full pull-up looks like for a woman. And then that really inspired her because sometimes, sometimes I'm thinking, is this an NT problem, an ST problem, an NF problem, or SF, right? So yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I think the problem here is SF and NF. So I got a coworker who's fit, female, do a full pull up, and after the the pull up was done, she was NF inspired, right? So I'm like, and then now she believes she can do it, and then yeah, she was able yeah. to do it a few weeks later. So um, it's it's always always looking at like, okay, what is missing here? NT, SF, and NF, NF or something, right? So so. Ah, so you you find OPS useful to get them better? Oh, a hundred percent, dude. Like sometimes, sometimes someone is not lifting enough. It's not because they're weak. It's sometimes like they don't believe they can do it. So it's 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 really respecting um each of those aspects. So you have to look at what's missing in those four aspects, and then that's when you you tap into that. And even for your personal development, like for you, um, I don't know. If you're an INFJ or ENTP, obviously we're discussing it right now. But if you if you were sleep last um, ENTP, that means the ST is the problem, right? The SITI, right? But if you were um, an INFJ consume last, then your problem is actually uh, oh, it's also ST. Oh my god! So it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so you can create a big problem. Yeah. Okay, so it's the same, which is good. So at least we know for you, ST is the biggest problem, and that's what that's what you need. Hence, that you need to track the numbers, track, you know, track your all the sensory details essentially. Um, yeah. But um, I'll ask you some questions first, though, because um, if we're trying to compare ENTP and INFJ for your type, then what is more personal for you? What would be more offensive? Okay. More if offensive. I'll, I'll ask you two questions on which you would think is or you would find more offensive if someone were to say this to you. Okay. Um, would you find it more offensive if someone says you are incompetent, you don't know how to do anything, or would you be more offended if someone goes up to you and say, you are stupid, you, you can't figure anything out? So they're both going to be offensive, but one is going to be more offensive, a little bit more than the other. So which would you say is a little bit more offensive? Like you're incapable of doing something, you're incompetent versus you're stupid, you can't figure anything out, you know? I think the first, I think the first, like uh, you're incompetent. Like, uh, yeah, I think it's the first, like you can like go out of a wet paper bag i think something like that like you you can do the most simple things like uh, getting your desk in order okay so that's good to know but at the same time that's still st so it's not st consume incompetence or is that st sleep incompetence right but we we know it's one of those uh that's like the biggest point the, the bigger point of um would be more painful for you to hear um now the, the other difference between the S that the next cross check that we want to look at is your S if you have S I or S E. Are you territorial with your physical belongings? Like, do you not like to let let people borrow your physical stuff, or will you freak out if someone like breaks one of your items or not return it to you? Or is for you it's like I don't care. 
that stuff is not a big deal, you know? No, I think is, uh, you know, uh, I remember, I still remember one of my friends that never gave me the uh, 3000 PSP model, that it was so great, that it was so fast and, uh, and uh, he never gave it back to me. And I was uh, like, you and I are never going to be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that model was great that man damn it because uh, i had the, i had the two models the 1000 and the 3000 but the 1000 was like this this thick was like having a a, a, a table uh, um i could call it a choke of wood uh, <laughs> and uh, the 3000 model was more slim and it was incredible <sighs> Yeah, so I will say I'm very territorial, I'm very, I'm very not personal on the on the, the sensory. So were you upset because of the object or because you felt disrespect from your friend? Like what is what <sighs> disrespect? <laughs> disrespect. Uh, yeah, I would think, yeah, disrespect. And uh I, 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 probably both. I mean that the object was great and uh you know, it's not like you buy some another model and it's the same. Like uh, it was your model. It was like you it's played nice. on that. Yeah, yeah. You play on that model for for hours, and uh, even the stats were there. And you like, ha! I played a hundred hours on uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, for example. And now, poof. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like SI. What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> now I'm confused about your type because I'm like, okay, you were typed as an INFJ, but you were also typed as an ENTP. They gave you two types, right? Yeah. Uh, and they change it. That's so confusing now because, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That That's hard. That's hard. I can't tell if you're info dominant or, but, but you know, the one thing though is you do seem energy dominant when you talk. So it's, it's, it's like you're very goofy, right? So I don't know, man. It's, it's tough um, because there's a lot of clues that points towards ENTP, but there's also clues that points towards, you know, um, but it's big. It's just a big difference between lead sleep and lead and double activated play, though, right? So yeah, I I, I see I, I see now why you wanted to discuss this because it is confusing. Like your type, you now you were given two types that that, and they're both potentially correct. Uh, both are observer, so you still have things problem. But then yeah. the fact that you have fifty four tabs open, isn't that like an EP thing? You know, like you're over gathering. Isn't that like an over gather problem? <sighs> Yeah, that like uh, you know, I I I tell you one one, one time where actually I was looking at uh, you know, I saw comedians. I was like, uh, you know, um, do you know David Nighthill as a comedian? I know, I, I do not. Uh, he's this uh, I think Irish comedian, if I remember correctly, and uh, he was doing a um, cultural appreciation. It's called a uh, stand up comedy. Yeah, and uh, it was so knowledgeable. Like it was. He, se he seemed to know everything. Like I said, how? how? Like he's, he knows a lot of things, a lot of facts, and uh, even doing comedy on that. And I tried to, you know, and uh, um, long story short, um, I, I, I went uh, from there to um, why, um, do you know, um, how, do you know the fear te techniques like, um, Famous theater techniques. Uh, theater techniques? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like what kind of li Lights, uh, effects, uh, or, um, you know, the, the philosophy behind, that, behind them. I'm a little bit, but not enough, I guess. Like, I, I just know kind of like when I watch documentaries, but nothing, nothing, fan like nothing in depth, you know, just what I, from what I watch documentaries about lighting effects and stuff, but nothing, nothing deep, so. Just pretend oh. I'm, uh, just just say I'm a beginner. Like I don't know anything. So, oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I wonder if there actually are documentary on uh, on theaters. But uh, I I saw that um, this interview with uh, Jersey Gorgowski and uh, the poor theater, and uh, I finished there. Like uh, after I finished watching the the documentary, I was like, um, <laughs> what, what happened? And there was like uh, ten other tabs in in between. It was like. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the poor theater. Like, uh, he, he was uh, basically a minimalist. Like, uh, 
forget all the lights, uh, just the, the actors. Okay. So yeah. I'm a little bit distracted because I'm looking at your type now. I'm like, oh my God, do you have NI or NE? You know, like, because <laughs> then now, now I'm wondering because like, do you have Yeah, because yeah, then now like you, you see doubt in my mind about your typing. <laughs> um, and then I was like, okay. Because like, look at you, look what you're doing right there. You're consuming, and we're like in the middle of the interview. You're consuming right now. Like I, I've, I've interviewed a lot of INFJs. <laughs> I've never seen any of them do this. You know, yeah, yeah actually, you're very I, consuming in the middle of the interview. Like, am I continuing? Like, I tell you, yes, yes, I should maybe stop, but I can't. Yeah, you're you're consuming right now. I'm like, like, wait, this, this, how can you be consumed last if you're like? I don't see it as peacock too. Like, you just went there and you start doing it, and uh, so. Now I'm wondering, wait a minute. Maybe your first typing was the one that's correct, not your second typing. Uh, maybe, because, yeah. Because, uh, like, you know, you, you know, when you go to school, you have to do this multiple question test and then the multiple choice question. And then, you know, you know, they usually say, don't change your answer because usually your first answer is correct. I don't know if you've ever heard that saying. So yeah, I feel like, yeah. So I feel like maybe for you, like they, they, they was the first answer was already correct and then they erase it and they switch it to the next one because may, maybe they over uh, think about it kind of like in a multiple choice exam. They overthink yeah. about it and then now it's like, oh shit, you know, like the first answer was correct, <laughs> right? So now I'm thinking about like what happened to you and I'm like, did did they get you right the first time? And then because of the social type, it kind of got, you know, thrown yeah, the place. I, I, I think because actually now that you're mentioning it and yeah. they, they, they didn't introduce that, that, that uh, when they gave me the, the original type. So maybe they, they went off on that probably as you, as you, as you're saying, that makes sense. Yeah. Cause you're, you're free. You're really friendly for sure. So I think the number four makes sense. Right. But like, what, but what about the, the actual OPS code? Now that's the tricky one. Cause, uh, Consume last versus sleep last. Okay, why don't we go over the difference between those two? Um, yeah, sure. Um, um, I, 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 let's try to this other document. Let's see. Um, uh, no, th those are just. Uh, um, what documents do you have? I I don't like word. Uh, th this is this is another document. It's like table of OPS concept and related ideas. And this uh, um, this is of um, which person? This oh, um. Did you organize those documents yourself, or did you? Or oh did no you no like like the, the um, I I I look at them uh, now in the. Directory of objective personality of um, how is she called? Is like uh, um, wait, I don't remember her name. Um, damn it. Um, which is a, a actually a a very you know she's in the community for a long very long time, but I don't remember her name. Damn. Oh, I thought maybe is is there maybe? No. Ah, anyway, the, the, the file is called Directory of Objective Personality Links, and uh, I, I I don't know why Lisa is a name that came into my mind, but probably is not Lisa. Well, I I think the best way to 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 figure out your your which one is the more correct type is chaos and control, right? Because like that's that's the most obvious one, you know. Because one's an EP, one's an IJ, so. One mm -hmm. of them you would get triggered by getting controlled, while the other one you would be triggered by being, uh, by, by too much chaos that's happening, you know, and you don't know how to deal with it. So, like, from you, from your personal experience, um, looking at your actual history of of when you actually got triggered, were you triggered mm -hmm. because someone was trying to control you or or label you? So that's another thing with ENTPs; they don't like labels, right? Um. So is it is it like a label problem or a control problem or is it more like oh the shit happening from the sensory like I'm gonna get hit by a bus or I have to do the laundry you know all that shit like like lot like people with like SE at the bottom they hate doing the laundry for example right or like you know I know I know these are anecdotes but like um you know like some kind of like you have a grand plan with your NI and then suddenly you have to do all this sensory BS that that you don't want to do like oil change and 
and you know fix a printer. Like is, it is like this mastermind that's like, uh, hmm, I, I, I'm going to control the world. Yeah, but actually you have to, you know, start from the basics, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So which, which one for you is more, more, more triggering, like the label or is like, like you have a, uh, like a, a plan and then it's being ruined by day-to-day -day mundane tasks that you have to do like laundry and all that stuff. Well, I, I could tell you this. I could tell you that, um, it came to my mind a story about uh, where I was at my previous job. And uh, one day, you know, um, my boss just grabbed my, by my shoulders. I was like, okay, let, let's go, right? And he said, all right, now you have to answer to my questions. I was like, uh, yeah, okay, sure. You don't have to be so, you know, so forcing. I was like, uh, if you have to see yourself in 10 years in this place and this and with this um, role, a job, where would you be? Uh, how would you see? I was like, um, why? Um, <laughs> um, I, in 10 years, I still have to be here. Like, are you sure about that? <laughs> and uh, he, he kept me there as I was like, you know, asking for help, like, hey, can you, you know, can you try help me answer the question because it was like he has to answer this question um you know he has to, to do this alone i was like oh no <laughs> and uh, yeah and uh, you always trying to label me like uh, you are the this this guy you are this because of that uh, basing his idea some very little things because he was the boss and he was always in his office so I would say probably the first. And, uh, you know, here in Italy, people are somewhat traditional. So, um, okay. Uh, so I will think, and uh, I, I suffer from that a lot. So. Yeah, I, I, I know. Say, I've, been to, I've been to Italy, so I know I know what that's like. They're like, they're like uh, they have, like, they're su su super, su um, how could I say it? Wait. Superstitious? Um, superstitious. Yeah, superstitious. Superstitious, thank yeah. you. And uh, where, where in Italy yeah. are you? Are you in like southern Italy or like northern? Uh, northern Italy, northern Italy, like Milan and, or something, uh, like that place, hmm? like near Milan or something, or uh, yeah, near Milan. It's like the the, the region is like the uh, the one that uh, is confining um, uh, in at, at the southern part of uh, Milan or Lombardia, I was called okay. Italian. Okay. And uh, and the funny thing is like uh, they're like huh, uh, people from the south are like uh, 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 they're, they're like sup superstitious as you say, but uh, they're doing the same thing and uh, it's super funny to watch. <laughs> oh, so they're doing what they said that those south people are doing, but they're also doing it. So they're yeah. the same. Yeah, they're doing the same, and you're looking at uh, the outside. You're like, mm, okay. <laughs> And they're, and, they're, and they're super controlling and trying to not be like them, but they end up being like them. Huh, interesting. It's It sounds more like you're, an, honestly, dude, like just talking to you now for like, you know, 45 minutes and stuff. It's, it's like, because I've interviewed enough people also, and I'm like, you don't act like an INFJ. There's something off about the way you act. You you it it you kind of seem more ENTP like if I were to be like just from my perspective. Um yeah. and it it seems like I mean now I understand why you doubt your your second typing. Um because uh now I'm thinking that you have very much ENTP behavior. Cause I've interviewed a your if you were sleep last play consume MF INFJ. I've inter already interviewed someone that has that type in my channel and you don't talk like him at all. <laughs> so that's why I'm wondering. I'm like, what, what the hell? What's going on here? Um, plus you're, you keep consuming, you know, oh. <laughs> like you can't stop consuming. Look, look at you. You can't stop. consuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 54 I mean, tabs I, open. I mean, I you can't stop consuming, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm looking at the basilicata right now. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're consuming in the middle of our chat, and I'm like, 
dude, you can't stop consuming, and you're like chaotic. You're chaotic as hell. Um, you know, I'm not saying if you're an IJ, you can't be chaotic, but like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> and and also when you're telling me your story, it sounded like a consume story, like a follow me story. You know, it wasn't organized. It was like you know. And then, and I was also very, there's like some SI aspect of it, like this happened and then this happened kind of deal, you know? So, okay. um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to go over your parts then, because at this point, you know, you have two typings. Uh, why, why, why don't we talk about your um, social type then and your um, sexual modalities? Because those two is correct. Yeah. So let's, yeah, start yeah. With, um, let's start with your sexual modalities first so your audio kinesthetic can you share a little bit about learning from hearing and also moving with your body you kind of talk about moving with your body already because you work out and stuff but what about the, the hearing part of things the hearing part so if i say that the way i go to work i put podcasts and like uh, different podcasts from uh, italy history to malcolm gladwell to um neither gas tyson and joe rogan so um that uh, is i learn better when i like in the frenzy of the traffic where uh, i like uh, yeah listening i will say um i would i wouldn't exclude the reading because i'm not really bad at it but uh, probably with listening is uh, as you said is better like um yeah podcast is uh, i actually um learn, uh, learn better by listening podcasts on the, when I'm in the traffic. And uh, yeah, so I will say that that part is um, is what I think would say audio, I think. Right. Is that, is that making sense? Or what, what would you, are you audio too, if I remember correctly? Yeah, I'm right? also audio, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, do you have some experiences like this? Like uh, you prefer to, you know, you remember like songs with uh, certain tempo or, I just remember vividly, it was the first time I've kind of picked up on it. Like I might like that, that audio is a strong point of mine was my first ever fitness job. I worked for a commercial gym and it was a really hard job because it was very sales oriented. So I have to have a quota. Oh. Um, okay. It, now, now it's not sales oriented, like it's training oriented. Right. But now before it was sales oriented when I first did it. Oriented. So okay. I have to motivate myself to do well in sales and I remember I had a coworker, he just got hired and he was telling me about audiobooks. And at that point, I never listened to audiobooks, right? So he told me about audiobooks. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll give it a shot. So I started listening to like self-help and sales audiobooks. Um, okay. I was driving to work and I noticed that I'm, oh my God, I'm really picking up the information so easily when I hear it, especially if I'm driving, because driving is kind of like kinesthetic. So like I'm driving and I'm picking up the information while I'm driving. And I think that's when I clued in that, Oh my God, I have a skill in audio. And now I teach a uh, spin, right? I'm a spin instructor. That's uh, the bicycle, indoor bicycle class, you know? Yeah, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, and it's all about music, right? So I use my SI to organize the FI. Like how yeah, how yeah. each music will make people feel, we right? Feel. And, I, and I have to organize the playlist in a certain way to uh, put people in an emotional roller coaster during the spin class, right? Yeah, and I, yeah, I, and yeah. I noticed I had, a, uh, I had a, a, a talent for that as well because... Like at one point, I uh, my spin class was doing really well, and I had like I had a wait list for people to come to my spin class. So people like my music choices. So can you give me a Spotify playlist, Kendrick? Like <laughs> yeah, I, I I use YouTube Music. I don't use Spotify. Oh, all right, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, it's okay, but it's okay. But um, so I just thought I'm like, oh, okay, that's where the audio is coming in. Um, all right. So the next question I have then is for your social type. So you're a four and a three, right? So you're social type four, but also save your flex as a result, right? Uh, not flex, sorry, uh, specialization, sorry. Um, so let's start with the most obvious one, which is the four. Um, and then obviously the opposite of four is one. So the lack of flex. So can you lack talk about flex. like being very friendly, but then also being triggered by people who are obviously, you know, trying to flex all the time, trying to brag, show off, try to like show that they're better than everyone, you know, higher than everyone, you know, cause that would trigger you, right? But then you would also be inspired by that as well because they have the drive, the motivation. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see um, if I can find some... Oh my God, um, dude, you're also talking like an NE person. Like, mm, interesting. That's like what NE people say. Uh, oh, um, 
I said it several times during this interview already, but I obviously have N E, so okay. That's kind of suspicious, but keep going. <laughs> okay, so um social type four, you said. Yeah, friends. Um okay. Um hmm. So you said that uh, um you are con- con- contemporarily uh, inspired and triggered by people who are always flexing, right? For you, so, if you're, you're a four. Yeah, so for example, I would be, you know, triggered by a Andrew Tate, for example. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. With number ones, you're either really inspired by them or you're really, you're really triggered by them. Ah, so it's one or the other. It, it could be both because number ones are your mortal enemies and they're also your best friends being a four right so it oh, depends okay, okay. Hmm. but you can talk about andrew tate if you want do you get triggered by andrew tate or do you think he's it's fine he like you you like him i, I will say that usually when he is um setting uh, you know uh an interview where he's like going uh wanting with one like uh um uh, give me one reason why you should stay with that with, with that woman and the other person is like super indisposed is like well because uh, give me one one reason why you have to stay with this woman yeah. <laughs> and he's keep repeating until um, the other person say you're right I should leave her <laughs> oh like, he, could, okay. he controlled her, her him with the NF blast <laughs> yeah so how, how do you feel how do you feel about that do you get triggered by that or do you like think it's like kind of like mm, uh, uh, yeah it's, bit, it's like uh oh man like uh well i, I probably i need to reflect I, I, you know uh, i don't know <laughs> you're unco- it sounds like you're uncomfortable by him saying that yeah yeah it's like uh, he's keeping pushing it like uh no it's not like it's like there's even you know one of my friends that uh um was doing a, a kind of similar thing. Like uh, I tried to see that uh, it was inspiring me, like pushing me, but at the same time, it was so um, uh, pushy and uh, controlling on that, uh, what I was saying that it was like, uh, like, all right, mm. <laughs> okay. I see your good intention, but. <laughs> oh, maybe because you also have the the lack of drive as a number four, because the focus is on relationship and friendship, right? So it's like, when the number one's going nuts with like, you know, it's like, keep going, don't stop, don't give up, you know, all that stuff. It's like, you're, you're like, I, I just want to do this for fun, man. You know, kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about yeah. the other one? So specialization, do you prefer when you have a job that you're given one specific role and you kind of focus on that role? And the most important thing for you in a workplace environment is having a very friendly um, supportive work environment as opposed to like a, you know, because that's the number four, when they look for the, the perfect job is the one that has the most supportive environment. Well, for number threes, uh, the perfect job is someone, something that allows them to focus a hundred percent on their work without distractions almost, you know, mm-hmm. e- even if they're an introverted, even if they're an extroverted number three, they still do that. Cause I just interviewed, um, a number three yesterday that is an extrovert and, um, they still wanted people to just leave them, leave her alone, and she focused on her own thing. But if you're a number four, yeah, you do want to specialize, but you also like interaction with your coworkers and stuff. Hmm. That's okay. So, um, would that make sense? Like, uh, please tell me what to do, but I've been only doing my box. Like, uh, um, I am. I have this uh, this goal, like this one mansion that I want to perfect. Is that making sense? Yeah, you're perfecting like your work essentially. Like you, you, you like to your your the mm. way this, the way this describes is you're a craftsman. You know, like craftsman. You, yeah, like you're really craftsman, star player. So um, really high performance, but uh, super specific role like uh, yes. soccer or football. Um, or it, like it could be, like like let's say it's a uh, let's say you go to work right, and your job is accounting. So you're hyper focused just on accounting. You're not gonna go to the other department and help them with marketing. You're not gonna help them with human resources. You know, you're not gonna help with sales. You know, it's just accounting. That's all you're doing. And if someone tries to make you do something else, you're like, no, my my focus is accounting. Okay, it's just accounting, right? So that's like specialization. It's like I focus just on this one thing, and I'm doing it for many years, just this one thing. So it could be anything. Like my my girlfriend for like 
over 10 years, she just did admin. It was admin for 10 years, right? Um, but then recently she's switching to teaching now, but like for 10 years, it was admin, right? So admin, uh, what do you mean by admin? Admin is doing um, back office support role, like creating uh, templates for Word documents, for example, or PDF or um, sending emails out. Like you're doing a support role for the company. It's more from an operational standpoint. Like your goal is to make sure that operations within the company is is flowing so that people are able oh. to do your work and, and whatnot. So it is a, a better word for secretary? <laughs> like, uh, no. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can use the word sec <laughs> It's Because the thing with secretary is so, so the thing with admin is sometimes a lot of times you're 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 by yourself. You're not like reporting to someone all the time. While with secretary, you're reporting to someone all all the time, like every day. So it's you're doing secretary Ooh. you're doing secretary jobs, but you're not necessarily reporting to someone every day all day. Like like sometimes your boss doesn't talk to you for like a week or 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 like twice a week only or something because they kind of leave you alone as long as you're doing your job right. So that's kind of like what admin is. But if but secretary does do a lot of admin stuff, but they usually have a boss that they answer to and they have to. Um, you know, report to all the time. So it's that, that's like the slight difference. But yes, you could say secretary because it, it's very close. All right. So the difference is in uh, in the um, the amount of uh, reporting that you're doing uh, with uh, other co-workers. So, with, so, with, uh, with your boss, essentially. Like, you, you know, secretary boss. means you're, you're under someone that you're reporting to all the time. And, and it's usually every day because you're a secretary. So you're helping that person make their job easier, right? But like with your admin maybe you're not supporting a person, you're supporting a department, right? So a bunch of oh. different people within a uh, specific okay. group. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I am, um, yeah, I, I understood, I understood. All right, sure. all right. Um, what was the, the, the question again? It was about... Yeah, the, how do you see yourself, if you look at your life pile, do you see yourself specializing? Like you're focusing on you know, one thing, although there is one another cross check for number fours, which is they tend to switch jobs a lot because they're looking for the job with the the best work environment. So, best work. Hmm. I don't know if it's something common or not, but uh, would you consider work environment as something, you know, um, not fundamental, but uh, um, truly supporting and helpful? What? What? Sorry, say that again. Um, like uh, if you have a good uh, working environment, uh, like uh, would you that would you consider that uh, independently from your social type uh, um, as something that uh, is is supporting in each case, whether you are a one or a three or oh, I see what I, I, I see what you mean. Um, I would say the answer to that is if you're two, three, and four, then it doesn't. It like everyone wants to have a a supportive environment. But the ones are a different breed. So for them, it's whatever gets them to the fastest to the top. That's the best job. Even if it's toxic, they'll they'll do, they'll go there because toxic environment is competition, and they they love that competition, right? Well, the two trees and four are like, no, we don't want to go to a workplace where it's like toxic as hell, you know. But like if it's if it's like a number one, you're like, toxic could mean competition. It means I can just beat all those other people, you know. And right. Number one, number one is like. No, no, exactly. No, no. But uh, Gabriel, we gotta wrap up the interview shortly uh, because I have another interview coming oh. up. Yeah. So, um, but um, now that I've been talking to you for an hour, dude, just this is just my opinion. This is my opinion. Your first typing, I think, is more closely than your second typing. Um, mm. I, in my opinion, you're 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 um closer to the ENTP typing than the INFJ typing. Obviously, I didn't come here to type you. I just wanted to see where you are based yeah, on yeah. Our, our, our discussion. And I'm really glad that you brought it up when you emailed me about, you know, don't take my typing as like true um, because you because you got two official typing, right? So yeah, yeah it sounds like, it sounds like the classic case of the multiple choice where <laughs> your the first answer was correct. They erased it because a social type came in and then, and then they put this new type and then now it's like, wait a minute, why did you guys second guess yourself? The first type was correct already. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, just, that's just my opinion, obviously. So. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take it as you will. So, um, because my in my opinion, your problem is it sounds like it's st sleep, you know. So, mm. so yeah, anyway. I would agree. I would agree. I'm not super happy with it, but uh, yeah. Okay. All right, cool, dude. So, um, it was nice talking to you, getting to know you better. I know we had like some observer issues to start, but luckily it stopped happening. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, man, take care, enjoy yourself.
for the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Kendrick. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.